Have you ever wondered how it is to live in Mississauga? Deciding what a place as a new immigrant to a foreign land requires a bit of research. Don't worry, I have you covered on that front, so stay tuned. Hello, this is Sonia, your local realtor with Remax Realty Specialist. Welcome to my channel where we love talking about real estate and all things in and about Greater Toronto Area and we would love to take you along the ride. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notified every time there is a new video uploaded. Life in Canada is rich and diverse in terms of mutual respect for one another, equality of communities living together and friendliness. If you're looking for a vibrant lifestyle with good schools, parks, recreation, nightlife, outdoor, metro city, shopping, and pretty much any aspect of it all, you are going to make a smart choice with Mississauga. The list of both advantages and disadvantages of living in Mississauga is plenty. On the positive side, Mississauga has diversity, safe neighborhoods closer to Toronto, an international airport nearby, and good educational institutions. On the negative side, moderate to high housing rates, high property tax, and noise pollution caused by nearby airport. The city has evolved to skillfully deal with the newcomers in the form of an excellent, intricate, system of public service amenities. The city was awarded the best place to live in by Livability Index Report in 2019. In the survey, six out of 10 Canadians chose Mississauga to ease the access to life services, including shopping areas, dining, and green spaces. Other research criteria included public transport service, works and schools, and cultural and community centers. Here are some of the features Mississauga has to offer to its dwellers. Number one is weather. Because of Lake Ontario next to the city, it experiences a mild to moderate climate throughout the year. The city has a lower snowfall rate than the rest of the country during winters. The winter temperatures are mostly below freezing and the summer temperatures are lie around 20 degrees with warm and humid conditions. However, some people might not find the weather too comfortable. Due to the freshwater body, there are foggy springs and autumn mornings. The next is transit. MyWay is the municipal transportation agency that controls both the local and express travel buses. The express buses cover the distance between major destinations, including connecting Mississauga with the nearby Brampton, Oakville, Toronto, etc. The fares are reasonable and budget friendly. There is a section of local buses that cater to the schools alone. Although the transit services spans over 90 routes, it does not reach all corners of the city. Thus many locals prefer going around by the car. And the next is proximity. Mississauga together with the province capital Toronto forms the greater Toronto area. The cities balance each other perfectly. Toronto has a much more vibrant nightlife, whereas Mississauga gives off a charming, nostalgic vibe. You can go to downtown Toronto in your car smoothly, provided you avoid the rush hours. You can take the My Express to Toronto as well. Mississauga's proximity to the famous Toronto Pearson International Airport, the largest in the country. And the next is neighborhoods. You can narrow down a neighborhood based on your needs and requirements. Mississauga offers a wide range of areas where people from all walks of life can find a space for themselves, but most of them fall on the higher spectrum. Following are some of the broader categories, the popular ones. Since the greater Toronto area has one of the Canada's largest business centers, young professionals and single people might want to look at Square One to settle down. Square One is the heart of Mississauga since it houses the most incredible nightlife for singles to meet new people, affordable living, a safer environment, low cost of living, and a community of already settled professionals. The name Square One of the neighborhoods come from the mall of the same name. Square One is the largest mall in Mississauga and the upscale neighborhoods. Some of the topic family-friendly neighborhoods in the city include Lorne Park, Mineola, and Meadowville. 
Lorne Park has a range of beautiful homes, quiet streets and open spaces that can attract the leads. It is one of the expensive areas and if you are trying to watch your wallet, this might not be the first choice to settle down. Mineola is a neighborhood that prides itself on towering trees and lush greenery. The community has two parts, east and west. East Mineola is a popular choice, yet it has lost its scenic plus points over the years. The western part is more private and exclusive, yet houses a magnificent panoramic view. The community is generally wealthier. Meadowville is a suburban housing community that was built in 1970s. It is a planned community, so there are several green balls, parks, natural beauty. The region is diverse in inhabitants and the houses are of affordable rates. It is no surprise that many families prefer to settle in Meadowville with quality schools, cheap homes and condos and local amenities at an arm's length. And then others. Some other affordable and safe neighborhoods include City Center, Downtown, Credit Valley, Erin Mills, Castle Bridge, and Streetsville. Some communities are more than two centuries old and have rich historical significance. Almost all Mississauga neighborhoods are safe and provide lifestyle amenities and an inviting atmosphere. Mississauga really does provide multiculturalism. According to various city surveys, more than half of Mississauga's population is of different ethnic groups. The city has the most diverse people in the country, according to recent census. The largest groups include Indian, Chinese, Irish, Scottish, and the Italian ethnic groups. The city even has a festival dedicated around its multiculturalism that occurs annually in May known as Karasaga. The festival is about the diversity of food, music, clothing, and general ethos advocated by each ethnic city's background. Since the city is richly involved in diverse communities, so is its food. The eateries around towns are cuisines from all over the world. Places such as Streetsville, Harantario, and Port Credit are the hub for ethnic restaurants. Sirwan Mall contains a food district as well, and many tourists and locals can be found swarming the plethora of fast food joints and ethnic restaurants there. Another important feature that city of Mississauga has is the job market. Possibly the most excellent question that one can ask when moving to a large city is its job market. The cost of living in Mississauga may be moderate to high, but the city has one of the country's hottest job market. There is a low cost for startup projects compared to Toronto and with its business development programs, Mississauga is a magnet for budding entrepreneurs. And this is my personal favorite, schools and education. There are some great schools in the city. Some of them offer classes in French language. The city does not have a university of its own, but there is a satellite campus of the University of Toronto. The popular satellite campus community colleges include Sheridan and Lambton. And the next is sports. Various sports clubs conduct sports leagues matches routinely in the city, but there are no major league sports team. The local league teams include hockey teams, basketball teams, and more. The most prominent sports club in the Mississauga is the Mississauga Sports and Social Club. And this is something you're going to love, outdoor activities. City Center contains Celebration Square where the city sees some cultural festivals, gatherings, movie nights, concerts, etc. During winter, the square turns into a skating rink. And the next is cultural activities. Other than the multicultural festival, the city revels in cultural amenities that include an art gallery, Art Gallery of Mississauga, Mississauga Symphony Orchestra, and the Living Arts Center. And who does not want a safe atmosphere? Mississauga is considered one of the safest cities that you will feel pride while living here. And here are some final thoughts. Mississauga is a place for those who want to have a laid-back lifestyle with a city life hustle spruce. The city is peaceful, serene, and contains various options to choose from when it comes to neighborhoods. Mississauga is a great choice, but it too has its dark sides. Some neighborhoods are not family friendly, taxes on the houses may seem higher, and the city life is a busy one. I suggest you to do your research and visit the city before deciding to move to Mississauga permanently.
And if you want to know more about Mississauga or the education system in Mississauga, I have the whole list of YouTube videos, so don't forget to watch those. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join me next week. Until then, stay happy and stay safe.